Let's try another question using the Play-Doh to find one third of two fifth. Once again, we are using the container of the Play-Doh as one. In this case, we need to use the two fifth, which means I'm going to start by dividing that Play-Doh into five equal parts. Remember, this was the entire Play-Doh that we took out of the container. Focusing on two fifth, which means we are going to be focusing on this part and this part. This is our two-fifth. We need to find one-third of two-fifth. Let's go with the first one-fifth and divide them into three equal parts. Doing the same for the second. Each one is a third. We extend the same to all the other Play-Doh that we have. Two-fifth. This is one-fifth, this is another one-fifth, so this is our two-fifth. Since we need to find one-third, this is our one-third of this segment, and this is the one-third of this segment, which means when we need to find one-third of two-fifth, we are looking at one, two pieces out of the 15 total pieces. So one third of two fifth is nothing but two fifteen. Let's look at an extension if we need to find two third of two fifth in this case. Remember, we use the Play-Doh and we split them into the fifth. So this will be our two fifth. We are focusing on this portion and this portion. Since we need to divide them into thirds, we split them into three equal parts. But in this case, we need to take two thirds of two fifth. So this is our one-third. This is another one-third from just this one segment alone. We do the same thing for here. One-third and another one-third from this segment. Now you can see two-thirds of two-fifth is nothing but one, two, three, four pieces out of the 15 total pieces that we have. Two-third of two-fifth is four-fifteenths.